Uh, spiritual awakening and spiritual experience, especially, especially terms used in 12-step programs, uh, the big book. So um, spiritual awakening, really, it's the awakening of the spirit. So if you see your ego, usually as the identification of the body and the thoughts, or uh, uh, this uh, thing that each individual experiences as their separated self in, only, in their only spiritual recovery, that's their ego self or their very gross limited self the animal nature, um, as one starts to do spiritual work or becomes aligned with spiritual work or drawn to it, uh, one starts to develop uh, uh, the spirit access to the spiritual fields. Actually, Hawkins has described this as the um, at the level of integrity where one has the courage to start telling the truth rather than being, you know, just an animal, really. Um, then... Um, the etheric brain, the etheric body actually starts to generate. So you actually earn the good karma of having a spirit, uh, starting to have a spiritual uh, body, uh, which you didn't have before. You were part of a collective animal uh, human consciousness. So below to, below integrity. So, um, and actually it is, that that's what we talk about uh, in the groups this spirit awakening, the different levels of consciousness from just being, you know, full of resentment and addiction uh, and being run by the animal to suddenly having feels of inner spiritual presence and illumination and light. It is the awakening to the, to the higher spiritual fields and the transcendence of the lower ego fields or animal nature or the, you know, the more primitive, limited uh, animal self. So it is the awakening. Spiritual experience is a slightly different connotation. Uh, it, it's more, you know, as you're on your spiritual journey, you're awakening to higher fields of spiritual consciousness. Uh, however, a spiritual experience, like, um, you know, uh, suddenly I, I had a white light spiritual experience of bliss of kundalini uh, tingling up the spine, or suddenly it was like the world was in technicolor. Uh, they were just crying, witnessing the beauty of um, life unfolding so those are all um, um, descriptions of having a spiritual experience now uh, once you're at a certain state spiritual level of consciousness and that's your level of consciousness every day that's just your everyday uh, level of consciousness however if you go up or down in consciousness uh, if you decide to retake your addictions or you go down, then you uh, lose your uh, you lose your spiritual uh, connection. And if you go up, you may start to, for example, if you're at neutrality and you go to bliss, then that would that would be in the beginning, you'd call that a spiritual experience. But when you have, you're in bliss every day, that's quite boring, really. It's just your everyday experience. So um, so but. Uh, a lot of uh, people in heavy 12-step work or heavy spiritual work reports report spiritual experiences because they're advancing in their spiritual consciousness very rapidly. So what they experienced last month, last month I was angry and wanted to kill everyone. This month I feel chilled out and, uh, you know, I'm just uh, blissed and happy. So, you know, so things can advance very rapidly. Or if you're in addiction, they can go up and down very rapidly. Okay, uh, so yeah, that, that, that's the difference. Um, 